Hi to all my YouTube friends. I want to welcome you to another one of my YouTube videos. And I also want to welcome you to the Taipei Grand Hotel, voted in the top 40 hotels in the world. Yeah, construction of the Grand Hotel originally started out in 1901 as a shrine carved into the side of the Yungshan Mountain. So if you don't have a vehicle, be prepared to climb some stairs. In 1952, the Kuomintang government built the ho started building the hotel to help First Lady Chiang Soon Mei Ling entertain guests of honor from abroad. And by 1967, Fortune magazine had named it one of the top 10 hotels in the world. Visitors go to the hotel to see the large vermilion pillars, stately archways, and Chinese palace lanterns, all topped by a classical Chinese-style double-carved roof, one of the largest in the world. It is estimated that there are about 220,000 dragons painted or molded on the ceiling, furniture, and beams throughout the hotel thus gaining the name Dragon Palace, and I love my dragons. The architecture of the Grand Hotel is featured for its columns, and the red paint on them are called Yunshan Red, which was made especially and only for the Grand Hotel. When this palatial architecture was built it, during 1970, the Yunshan Red is full, but not too wild, luminous, and glorious, symbolizing festiveness, auspiciousness, and fortune. These are just a few of the luminaries, politicians, 
and uh, movie stars that have stayed at the hotel. This beautiful dragon is one of the centerpieces of the hotel. Originally from Lung Shan Park, somehow miraculously survived World War II and was hence known worldwide. Uh, it was moved to the hotel and in 1987, the brass dragon was plated with gold and many guests come to be blessed as they come to worship the golden dragon, praying that their dreams may come true. This is the mural of the Nine Sons of the Dragon King, recreated from the Forbidden City in China. This mural is not featured on any tour and by luck, I discovered it in the basement among some boxes and other things. Um, nine is a lucky number in the Chinese language as this is the same word for longevity, but I'm just mesmerized by its beauty. Another crazy feature in this hotel is a secret tunnel and passageway that would allow the president or king or any of the dignitaries to be able to escape. And as you notice, there's also a slide that I desperately wanted to go down. I, I begged them, but they just said, you know, the rules are the rules and, and we, we don't allow it. But, you know, we paid a little extra to, to have this tour to go down and actually see this secret tunnel. Quite amazing. Okay, and this is one of the rooms here, and uh, I think you can get a cheaper room. This one here is about 300 Canadian. This is your bathroom. And remember, this is one of the top 40 hotels in the world. And here's our view, wow. To stay here, you got the swimming pool and the tennis courts. Beautiful temple. And that's what the rooms are like here in the Grand Hotel in Taipei. All right, I want to thank everyone who watched my video here of the Grand Hotel in Taipei, one of the main tourist attractions here. And I thought there's no better place to do it than the mural of the Nine Dragons. Um, if you know me, you know that I love my dragons. So uh, thank you very much for watching. And if you want to like and subscribe, that would be great. And remember to be kind and live your best life. Thank you very much.